PlayStation State of Play livestream has been leaked. We also have information about Death Stranding not being a PlayStation 4 exclusive. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and welcome back to a special Encore edition of PlayStation News. From time to time on Game on Monkey Flop, the channel you guys are watching right now, I will cover some gaming news and today is a very interesting day because we have rumor and speculation, take this with rumor and speculation, that uh, PlayStation's live stream has been leaked on the internet. Now. Uh, I would really take this lightly, but uh, according to the sources, we should be getting uh, three new games that they're going to be focusing on. We're also going to get information and a new release date for The Last of Us 2, which a lot of people are eagerly and anticipating for, you know, it to actually happen and like when is the release date going to happen because we've getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back so many different times. Now, there's also rumor and speculation that with State of Play, we will get more information about PlayStation 5. I doubt that. In fact, we won't get any more information about PlayStation 5, at least until 2020. Uh, PlayStation doesn't want to take the focus off of PlayStation 4. And announcing or at least giving more details about the PlayStation 5 will hurt PlayStation 4 sales because, let's face it, uh, the more people that know about the PlayStation 5 and maybe don't own a PlayStation 4 might want to hold off until the PlayStation 5 gets released. Especially with the PlayStation 5 having backwards compatibility and reportedly backwards compatibility with the PlayStation 4. Very interesting to say the least. Now, State of Play is actually set for November 1st according to sources. So, I will keep you guys up to date on State of Play and more information about that as it breaks. As we know right now, the leak about the PlayStation State of Play live stream is just rumor and speculation at this point. There's no like physical confirmation that somebody actually saw this live stream. Next up, I actually wanted to talk about Death Stranding because it has been removed off of the PlayStation.com website under exclusives. In fact, even if you go to the PlayStation Network store, you will not see Death Stranding in the only on PlayStation section, which we've seen in the past. Now, uh, Kojima actually went on an interview a while ago talking about Death Stranding, and one of the questions was, is it going to be a PlayStation exclusive? He did say that it was going to be on PC at one point in time. He didn't have any confirmation as to if it was a timed exclusive on PlayStation 4 and then it would come to PC. Um, in fact, in the interview, he didn't want to actually go further and disclose any more information that he already did, which is Death Stranding is going to be on PC. Now, there's a lot of rumor and speculation that would get a lot of people upset uh, because Epic Store is not like the most favorable, you know, stores out there. Uh, but according to uh, some more leaked information, we could be getting Death Stranding coming to PC on the Epic Game Store. So I'm really curious and I want to know your guys' thoughts on that one. Um, you know, it's very interesting because we know that Sony was like really invested in Kojima after he left Konami. And, you know, there was so much, uh, you know, going around. He was uh, hanging out with uh, the designer of the PlayStation 4, Mark. And there was so much talk about Kojima, Kojima, Kojima with PlayStation. And a lot of information has led us to believe that PlayStation was the one that was funding Death Stranding. Now, we do know that PlayStation wants to actually step into, you know, uh, more storefronts. Uh, but the Epic Games Store, I don't know. Uh, because, you know, we could actually, if we wanted to play on PC, we can remote play. Um, that is an option. I know that's not like a viable option for a lot of like PC gamers and the PC market would be a, you know, a separate thing that, uh, you know, especially like Kojima who has his own studio would want to kind of like jump into. But my question to you is, uh, is Epic Game Store the right thing for him? Let me know in those comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and uh, make sure to hit a like comment down below. Let me know what you guys honestly think. I do do PlayStation news from time to time on this channel especially when my main channel has got so many videos going out and I want to be able to talk and cover some more things so I'm gonna put it here of course we're gonna be doing live streams and different things like that on this channel and some gameplay so make sure you guys stay tuned and subscribe with those bell notifications turned on I will see you guys in the next news update you guys are freaking awesome